trucking company um, owner indicted for conspiracy to steal interstate shipments from Amazon, Bath and Body Works, which really isn't something new. You know what I mean? Like uh, truckers, trucking, trucking companies and truck drivers have, uh, ever since trucking's been around, have tried to skim skim freight. In fact, back in, when I was a truck driver, I've, I've run into several truck stops where people were you know, um, on the side selling a few things out the back of the truck to make a couple dollars. I mean, I've seen it. And so, you know, you would think, okay, this is nothing new, but the way they did it was. It was kind of interesting because uh, it says, an Ohio man was recently indicted on multiple charges related to a complex cargo theft scheme. It says, um, Gert... Gerte, Gerte Singh, a.k.a. Gary uh, Buhler, uh, was indicted by a grand jury in Ohio on May 18th on one count of conspiracy to steal from interstate shipments, two counts of stealing from an interstate shipment, and one count of making a false statement according to the U.S. Department of Transportation. Now, it says Singh owned a trucking company. I, I've never heard of it, so it must have been pretty small. And he, and he was also the manager at, it says, uh, Singh owned trucking company Buller Transport and was a manager at Cargo Solutions Express. Follow me so far, right? Okay. Okay. It says, authorities say that Singh conspired with other owner operators. So he, he, he must have employed a lot of owner operators. I don't know if he had company trucks or not. It says he, he conspired with a bunch of owner operators to steal goods from interstate shipments and that were supposed to de- be delivered to retailers, Amazon and Bath and Body Works. Okay. It said Singh directed CSE drivers to stop at the CSE warehouse in Columbus, Ohio, so employees could steal cargo from their trucks. Which you're thinking, okay, all right, so, you know, so they're skimming, you know, it's nothing new. Then it says the employees access the trailers. This is what I'm getting at. You know, there's a seal on these trailers, right? Mm-hmm. It said the employees access the trailers by removing locking mechanisms on the trailer doors, making it appear as though the trailer doors were never open during transport. So basically, they were knocking out the pins and and taking the doors off (laughs) and then taking what they wanted, right, and then putting the doors back on so not to disturb the the seal because the seal has to match when you get to your destination or they'll refuse to load. Right, right. So how ingenious... Well, I shouldn't say ingenious is that, but it's so funny how thieves will go at lengths to grab a bunch of stuff so they can what hawk it or fence it or you know what I mean or sell it on the black market or whatever they're doing because think about this you're you're an Amazon re- uh, retailer or shipper right and you're waiting for this truckload well you get the truckload the seal is good right you open it up and as you do inventory on on the uh, trailers Guess what happens? You start realizing that a lot of this, a lot of things are missing, mm-hmm. and so I don't know if they set up cameras, how they caught this guy. But think about this: at first, you wouldn't think you would think, well, somebody made a mistake at the warehouse; they didn't ship enough. What, that's what you would be thinking. That would be the first, yeah, the first probably once, maybe twice. Yeah, if, yeah, exactly. So you're looking at it, and you're going, well, we can't blame the driver because the seal's good, right? But mm-hmm. then, like you said, after a while, this is where this guy. This is where um, they say criminals are really dumb. Think about it. Okay, so you get away with it the first couple times, like you just said. But then all of a sudden, the the company on the other end, what do they say? Hey. The CSE is kind of keep, it keeps doing this. Yeah, their, their shipments are always light. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Little light today, huh? Yeah. Exactly. And it's like, okay, so you're sh- everything that's coming, you know, back from something that you've touched is now light. So obviously, obviously, what do you think they're thinking? Something f- suspicious is going on here. Something fishy. Highly suspect. Exactly. Ratatouille. Highly suspect. <laughs> but now think about this for a second. The first thing you're thinking is, okay, can't be the driver. Now you realize it's CSE and you're saying to yourself, well, obviously it's more than one CSE driver. Right. So right. obviously the big guy, somebody at the warehouse has to be, and, and, and you might not be thinking it's the owner of the company just yet. You see what I'm saying? Because now you're looking at, at okay, maybe somebody at the warehouse, the warehouse manager, or actually said he was the warehouse manager, didn't it? Mm, he said he was the manager. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, so so bottom line is, let's see, it said he was also a manager, oh, at Cargo Solutions, which Cargo Solutions is CSE. Right. So it didn't say he was the warehouse. It said he directed him to go to the warehouse. So obviously, I don't know, did they pull up Qualcomm's or satellites and go, look at this. Everybody's being directed to this warehouse in Columbus. I mean, it's, you know, honestly, truly, you, you leave such a trace of breadcrumbs when you're doing this. It's almost impossible to get away with this, guys. If you're a trucking company that's actually been thinking about doing this, take a page out of this guy's book and realize, oops, I could see how we could get caught. Durr. I could see it. I mean, honestly, they, you know, if you're that desperate, you're going to do it at least once. And you, you never stop, first of all. You're going to keep doing it. Second of all, you always get caught. Nobody gets away with it forever. You get caught. There's always, there's always someone else trying to figure out how to outsmart you. So it's, you're going to get caught. I mean, I don't know what the mastermind was thinking when he, when he thought this crime up. But obviously... Yeah, taking the doors off makes it look like I didn't do it. The seal is good. But when every one of your trucks is the ones that are late on, on I'm sorry, light on the loads, missing cargo, obviously you're now the guy that they are watching and they're going to catch you. Don't be stupid. That's really my advice to any trucking company that's thinking about making a couple extra dollars on somebody else's freight. Don't be stupid. They're going to catch you guys. They're going to put cameras up. They're going to find a way, and it's going to trace back to you, and you're going to get snagged. Now, this guy's going to lose his company, and he's going to go to jail. He's literally going to go to prison now. He's going to do time, and nobody's ever going to want to do business with the guy. If you're a driver looking for a new trucking job, check out NCI. NCI offers the following, new Kenworth T680s, competitive wages, solo team and students welcome, plus a full benefit package for you and your family. Check them out today at 888-311-7076. That's 888-7076. And tell them Talk CDL sent you. Truck Parking Club is a network of instantly reservable daily and monthly truck parking locations throughout the U.S. Truck Parking Club helps connect truckers to truck parking locations throughout the U.S. via truckparkingclub.com. Our networks is made up of property owners that have locations adequate for truck parking to list on the platform. This includes trucking companies, storage companies, CDL schools, trailer leasing companies, real estate investors, truck parking operators, and more. Go to truckparkingclub.com. Hey, drivers, are you sick of watching the other drivers bypass the way station while you are held up going through yourself? Well, download DriveWise today at www.drivewise.com. Dot com. That's D-R-I-V-E-W-Y-Z-E dot com. And start bypassing the scales yourself. If you're a small carrier, an owner-operator, or even a big fleet looking for something better, check out DriveWise today. And remember, there's no equipment, no transponders needed when you're using DriveWise. Check them out for a free download at www. D-R-I-V-E-W-Y-Z-E dot com. Drivers, if you're looking for a local home everyday driving job, apply with Carter Lumber today. They have positions for Class A and Class B local drivers. They can take experienced drivers, students, and non-CDL drivers. With over 160 locations, chances are they have a position for you. So go to carterlumber.com forward slash talk CDL and apply today. Again, that's carterlumber.com forward slash talk CDL. Thank you.